Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 4th of 2022 well, it is titled a vortex aurora over Iceland. So what do we see here? Well, here is an example of the Aurora and we can see several different colors associated with it. The green color a little lower down is associated with oxygen atoms. And that is not the oxygen that we breathe, which is two oxygen atoms bound together in a molecule. It's actually individual uh, what we call atomic oxygen which is visible up in the higher Earth's atmosphere. And when that is excited by um, collisions with nitrogen at nitrogen molecules, it can become excited and gives off a distinct green glow. Higher up, we get the direct red emission also from atomic oxygen. And that is caused by the particles directly striking the oxygen in the thinner regions of the even higher atmosphere. And so it's all of this is caused by all this glow is oxygen atoms, again, not oxygen molecules, which we breathe. Now we notice that it cuts off rather abruptly at the end down towards the bottom. And it doesn't come all the way down to the ground. And that also shows this that it because we know that there's plenty of oxygen molecules closer to the ground. However, the oxygen atoms will recombine below a certain level. And that's about the level of about 100 kilometers or about 60 miles up. Below that the density is enough that the oxygen combines into molecules and therefore we no longer get the aurora at those lower altitudes. But we can see images of this when the sun is very active. In this case it was caused by a coronal mass ejection material expelled out from the sun at great speed. And these are charged particles which travel to Earth and follow along our magnetic field. So our magnetic field pr protects us from the bulk of the impact here and pushes a lot of it around Earth kind of buffers it around. But some of the particles do follow along the magnetic field and strike Earth's atmosphere, where the magnetic field lines enter, which is close to the magnetic poles. Here we see this in Iceland, so very far northerly latitudes. And we can also see them similarly at very far southerly latitudes. The sun is getting more active now as it comes out of its minimum a few years ago and approaches its maximum in a couple of years. So we should see far more aurora, including uh, intense ones like the vortex type aurora that we see today. So that was our picture of the day for April 4th of 2022. It was titled a vortex aurora over Iceland. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be cosmic seahorse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.